Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel. Great to be back on another video guys. Um, today uh, we are having a look at your map preview as well as your map icon for your map. In other words, if you open your map, um, any map, uh, you will find that in your map, first map directory where your mod disk is, there's two things, the icon file as well as the preview file that uh, shows your map in game um what it looks like and it's just like a teaser or a um icon and a preview of your your existing map you know in the game so i'm going to show you how to make these and um yeah it is a bit of a slip because um the guys at giants has got their sizes all wrong and um i don't think they figured out yet how to uh, get this preview size working in the game you know <laughs> i'll show you now why have a look at this preview i've opened it up here in the back um but this is but first before we get uh, into that if this is your first time where's my manners a, a warm welcome to you man <laughs> and while we're on it just hit that subscribe right now and all will be well um, and thanks for joining us we are a crazy bunch of guys here um supporting one another and learning together and just having fun all together man so yeah a warm welcome to you remember to like and subscribe appreciate that it helps the channel grow and also do share i share my stuff with everyone i really appreciate that guys it's the least you can do for me <laughs> great man all right so let's quickly have a look i just want to show you have a look at this um this is now the preview file um and take note of the tree here where where the tree is and take note of the clouds where the clouds is all right so and see how much sky there is here on top all right so <laughs> so just uh, keep that or bear that in mind and i'm going to quickly show you what i mean by the guys at giants has got their sizes all wrong and um, don't think they've figured out exactly what's going on yet they're probably still working on this you know it's on their to-do list <laughs> so if we go and select uh, i just want to put my phone off because it's going to be annoying if that thing is going to start pinging all the time uh, while we're talking so now we open the map and um, there you are can you now see what this thing has done it has zoomed into the picture it's cut off a lot of the picture on this side and most of the blue sky is gone here on top so if you were to, were to fill your photo on that little icon of theirs that doesn't work, it's not going to look, look uh, it's not going to come into place. And that's probably what everyone is struggling with. So I'm going to show you how to fix that up um, and uh, how to get it looking properly. Um, I want to think, I think I want to, um, how can we, how can we do this? Yes all right what i'm going to do uh i'm going to show you uh how to take a photo and how to work with that photo into this whole area here all right so um i think i want to take let us use the fs19 uh photo of um of one of the fs19 maps so we go into data we go into maps uh, let's use the us one um and then sorry not there it's in the US directory I think somewhere here it's called what was it called it was called um, I must just find it quickly it's supposed to be in the uh, data maps it must be on the maps you see there's the um, vehicle files I think I'm just scrolling too fast and I'm oh here we go man you must go into that directory it must be in here there it is the preview file um, in the in the old game it was called preview and in a new game game it, it's a uh, um, it's also called preview.dds but this is map us preview so now open it up and immediately you can see the difference now between fs19 it's 2048 by 1024 and fs22 
they've made this thing square 2048 by 2048 so that is where your problem is now in my mind i would think now oh that's very simple i can just copy my little file here um control c and bring it over control v place it here and drop it at the bottom and all will be well but you will be mistaken because it's not going to be well <laughs> all right so let me just uh control z this uh, out um like so like so right and then just create a new layer for you here i'm using paint.net by the way guys if you don't have paint.net just download it for you it's a free app on the internet search for it download it google it and um, install it and there you go all, all all is well so in the new layer what we'll do is you copy your photo the old one control c any photo you want copy it and uh, the key with any photo guys is the size that you've taken um, if it's a square photo you're going to have to crop it um, to to be 2048 at least by 1024 that is what you want because that is the area that they basically use it's actually a little bit bigger i'll show you now so if we now paste our photo in here on the new layer you will see this photo that we brought over is 2048 by 1024 but look there on top you see it is um it is not showing so what i do normally uh, i will i will take this photo now and i will expand it i use my shift button to to make to not lose the the resolution or, or the um it must you must do the x and y together so with shift you can do that you can move the x and y together so i'm going to make it bigger until i've covered more than half of it of the photo just like so and then what you can do is you can you can move this about to to fit to fit the the picture as until you you're happy with where it is and when you're happy with it only save when you're happy because once you've saved it will crop the edges off the picture all right so that's one thing you need to know um is once you've saved this now it will crop it off the edges so we're going to go file just save because we've opened that dds there um so I'll, where am i i'm on test map um you want to do this as a dds as well select the preview overwrite it say yes and here by the the format it needs to be dxt1 because uh, you need to go as a as a uh, dds file so it's dd uh, a dxt1 format uh, make sure the generate mip maps is on and super sampling is selected you click ok and you select flatten what it will do it will make it one layer again because we added an extra layer and then keep it open don't close it i'm going to show you why because now while that is open you can quickly open your game quickly open your game and just have a browse if you're happy with the with, with, with the picture if you're not happy you can still edit and modify there so don't close it all right so now we're going to go there you see now i can see i'm a little bit low i need to go up a tiny bit or make my picture a tiny bit higher all right because I've, I've the bottom of edged out to be on the uh, the new picture was edge was on the bottom so i might need to make it a tiny bit bigger just to get rid of that blue there on top all right so what i'm going to do is escape escape quit the game and then what i'll do now because i've saved you see now i can't move the picture anymore so what i'll do is i'll just press ctrl and z it will undo uh um it will undo my uh, well obviously it will undo my move first control z undo the move and then control z undo the save i think sorry i'm on the i must be on layer two let me just control z that now i must select layer two sorry and then i can move my picture about again i want you in this case it's already cropped my picture control z control z control z let's see you can just control z until you've got your picture again all right and then i'll put it at the bottom you see that tree here on the on the right i can get rid of that tree just to have this a bit bigger because the flag i want to flag in and the flowers should be all right so what i'm going to i'm going to leave it there and then i'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger i'm going to hold my shift again and drag it up 
make it a tiny bit bigger like that and then I can move move this about again make sure that the flag is in the tree I can cut a bit of that and then save again just like that and now uh, test map again we have to go DDS click the preview save replace yes make sure all of that is selected press ok flatten again and then leave it open test again and see until you're happy once you're happy then all is well and you can um, close everything up well before you close we need to do the icon um, just make sure the icon is there all right open up new farmer test map and there you are guys how's that beautiful eh <laughs> all right so we're happy with that uh, that uh, picture it came out nice so now what we can do is quit the game uh farming simulator quit yes and all you need to do now is uh we've already saved so you can uh, um just leave that as it is um what i want to do yeah you can actually close everything now because we want to uh do the following so these are map preview now so close everything open this up again um, and by the way guys you can download the WTF it's an NVIDIA preview program it's also a free program it's called NVIDIA preview um, um, it's icon viewer or, or, or something like that it's from NVIDIA and then uh, that little program if you if you if you need to know most of the files like TDS's what type and formats they are you can um, you can actually just grab the file and drop it on the the little program and it will tell you that its format is DXT5 because this is uh, FS19 and the size and mid maps and um, all that info that's quite handy to have all right so we are going back into our I just want to close this because this obviously is not the one we want we want the one in our folder uh, mods test map this one here this is now the one that we've um, we've modified or have I now modified the wrong one no it's this one that I've modified good all right so what you want to do now is have a look at that icon file just to see what size this is so drop it on there dxt1 256 by 256 mid maps all right so that's the format you want to save it as um, you can obviously just open the icon it won't tell you what format it is but you'll at least have the size all right so um yeah it is that okay so now let's go back to our photo this is our um, preview in the fs22 map and now what we're going to do is we're going to have to now crop uh, a piece of 256 by 256 for the icon all right so because the icon is square um, this is not square it is like rectangular so it's actually two by five on twos so you're gonna have to take your um, square rectangle select tool hold your shift key once again and drag a um, square here until you see here at the bottom left five on two by five on two all right and then um, unfortunately if you leave it it's already uh, um, it, it's already selected that area so with this program unfortunately you can't modify the the um, the crop so so you're gonna just have to go by trial and error or what you can do is just select a nice piece of area like that for instance oh, let me just do it again take it from there shift I actually want to get this red thing in all right so let us escape let's go from there from that side oh, I solved my shift like so all right so now if I if I use the select now you'll see it's already cut that unfortunately I don't know of a way in 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 paint.net to to not let that happen all right so I'm just gonna go control Z to deselect that so what you do then is now that you've got an area selected it's 1042 so just take that control C go into your mod your, your icon file control V and you say here keep the canvas size all right right because we've um, because we have uh, um, made this thing square um, the aspect ratio is now the same as our icon so what we can do is just bring that top corner to fit there 
and then you grab your bottom corner and you just bring that into your bottom corner here just to go over that like that once you've got the whole thing there you can just go save um, and just make sure it's still the same DXT one click OK and there you go guys you have um, and this one we don't have to save you can just say don't save there's your preview and there's your icon all sorted out now sometimes on your maps um, if you've exported the map it doesn't have the previews uh, the icon and the preview selected so I just want to have a look where it calls it from I think it is from your um, there's the preview file you see that the preview file is there so in your mod desk um, the preview file is called and then the icon as well there it is icon file so the icon in the preview is called out of your your maps mod disk file so you can grab it there or just make sure it's it's showing there and um, yeah the game will pick it up and sort it out well guys I hope it's been at least a, a little bit um, insightful uh, you guys uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link for the downloads for the NVIDIA program as well as paint.net in the description of this video so you can also if you don't have the programs you can just download those they are handy to have you know so have fun guys I hope it's been nice and uh, not boring <laughs> and uh, please remember to like and subscribe and do share my stuff and thanks to my supporters have a great day man I'll catch you on the next one cheers eh?